Welcome to our Piping Engineering YouTube channel. In this video we will learn calculation pipe lengths in the pipelines. Please watch the video until the end, I am sure you will improve your piping knowledge with the information we provide here. This video provides excellent practice information about piping skills for piping fitters. Please subscribe to our channel before starting the video for watch more videos. Let's starting pipe tutorial video. Sometimes it is required to calculate the length of the pipe sections in the piping isometric drawings. We try to explain with examples in this video how to calculate the length of the pipe pieces in the pipeline. This picture that you see in the video is a 2D isometric drawing of the 5 inch pipeline. This pipeline consists these pipe fittings. 3 off 5 inch pipe pieces showing on drawing as item 1, item 2, item 3, 3 off 5 inch weld neck flanges, 1 off 5 inch 90 degree but weld elbow, 1 piece 5 inch equal pipe T. 1 off 5 inch 45 degree but weld elbow. We can find the dimensions of the pipe fittings used in this pipeline from their dimension charts. Let's try to calculate and find the lengths of the pipe pieces used in this pipeline by using the dimensions of the pipe fittings. We will use the 2D model of this pipeline to make your calculation easier to understand. Let's start to calculate the length of the 5 inch pipe pieces item 1, used in the fabrication of this pipeline. In this section of the pipeline, the total distance from the face of the weld neck flange to the center of the 90 degree but welded elbow is 620 mm. To find the length of pipe piece item 1, subtract the length of the weld neck flange and 90 degree but weld elbow from the total length. Let's first look at the welding neck flange dimensions table. This is chart dimensions in inch of the weld neck flanges class 150. The NPS is nominal pipe size of the weld neck flange and shows on this column. The OD is outside diameter of weld neck flange and shows on this column. The H is the height dimension of the weld neck flange and shows in this column. Since the pipeline in our isometric drawing is 5 inch, we need look at this row. The outer diameter of the weld neck flange with a nominal pipe size of 5 inches is 5.56 inches, which is the millimeter equivalent of 5.56 inches multiply 25.4 equals 141.3 millimeters. The height dimensions of the 5 inch weld neck flange is 3.44 inches, which is the millimeter equivalent of 3.44 inches multiply 25.4 equals 87.3 millimeters. We find out the length of the 5 inch weld and neck flange 87 mm. Now, let's look at the dimensions chart of but weld elbows 90 degree long radius. NPS is nominal pipe size of the 90 degree but weld elbow and shows on this column. The D is outside diameter of the 90 degree but weld elbow and shows on this column. The A is the center to end of the 90 degree long radius but weld elbow and shows in this column. Since the pipeline in our isometric drawing is 5 inch, we need look at this row. The outside diameter of the 5 inch 90 degree but weld elbow is 141.3 millimeters. The center to end of the 5 inch 90 degree long radius but weld elbow is 190 millimeters. Also, during a fit up in pipelines, welding gaps of approximately 3 mm should be placed between pipe fittings. Having these 3 4 mm gaps is for better root welding. In our isometric drawing, there will be fit ups in 8 places, and we should consider these 3 mm gaps when calculating pipe lengths. We have learnt the lengths of the 5 inch weld and neck flange and the 5 inch 90 degree elbow, and now we can calculate the length of pipe piece number 1. Overall length 620 mm, minus 5 inch weld and neck flange length 87 mm, minus 5 inch 90 degree long radius but weld elbow minus 190 mm, minus twice 3 mm clearance for welding equals 337 mm. Let's calculate the length of the 5 inch pipe pieces item 2, 
used in the fabrication of this pipeline. In this section of the pipeline, the total distance from the center of the 90 degree but weld elbow to the center of the equal pipe T is 800 mm. Let's look at the pipe T dimension table to find the dimensions of the 5 inch equal T. NPS is nominal pipe size of the equal pipe T and shows on this column. D is outside diameter of equal pipe T and shows on this column. The C and M are the center to end of the equal pipe T and shows in this column. Since the pipeline in our isometric drawing is 5 inch, we need look at this row. The outside diameter of the outside diameter of equal pipe T is 141.3 millimeters. The center to end of the equal pipe T is 124 millimeters. Let's calculate the length of the pipe piece, item 2. To find the length of pipe piece item 2, subtract the lengths of the 90 degree elbow and the pipe T from the total length. Overall length 800 mm, minus 5 inch dash 90 degree long radius but weld elbow minus 190 mm, minus 5 equal pipe T dimension 124 mm, minus twice 3 mm clearance for welding, equals 480 mm. Now let's calculate the length of the 5 inch pipe pieces item 3, used in the fabrication of this pipeline. In this section of the pipeline, the total distance from the center of the 45 degree but weld elbow to the face of the weld neck flange is 530 mm. Earlier in the video we know that the length of the 5 inch weld neck flange is 87 mm. Now, let's look at the dimensions chart of but weld elbows 45 degree long radius. Since the pipeline in our isometric drawing is 5 inch, we need look at this row. The outside diameter of the 5 inch 45 degree but weld elbow is 141.3 millimeters. The center to end of the 5 inch 45 degree long radius but weld elbow is 79 millimeters. Let's calculate the length of the pipe piece item 3. To find the length of pipe piece item 3, subtract the lengths of the 45 degree elbow and weld neck flange from the total length. Overall length 530 mm, minus 5 inch dash 45 degree long radius but weld elbow minus 79 mm, minus length of 5 weld neck flange, 87 mm, minus twice 3 mm clearance for welding, equals 358 mm. We have calculated and found the lengths of the pipe pieces used in the 5 inch pipeline. By using this method, you can easily calculate lengths of pipe pieces in the any pipelines. This tutorial video is finishing here, if you have any question about video, you can write comments in the comments section. You can watch like those videos, by entering the links in the description below, of this video. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our piping tutorial channel, and turn on notifications, to be notified of our new piping tutorial videos in time. Thank you for watching see you on next video, take care.